मेल इनफर्टिलिटी हैपन्स लाइक इट इज़ अ कंडीशन वेन द मेल इज नॉट एबल टू मेक द फीमेल पार्टनर प्रेगनेंट सो मेल फर्टिलिटी एंड लाइक डूइंग सेक्स विद द पार्टनर दीज टू आर टोटली डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स बिकॉज मेनी टाइम यू आर एबल टू हैव सेक्स विथ योर पार्टनर नॉर्मली बट यू आर इनफर्टाइल और यू माइट बी वेरी फर्टाइल बट यू आर नॉट हैविंग एनी सेक्स ड्राइव सो दीज ऑल टॉपिक्स वील बी अगेन डिस्कसिंग इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग ओनली अबाउट वॉट इज मेल इनफर्टिलिटी मेल इनफर्टिलिटी मीन्स यूजली इन द सीमेन इन योर सीमेन एग्जामिनेशन द स्पर्म्स आर इधर नॉट कमिंग टोटली दे आर एबसेंट और यू आर हैविंग लेस अमाउंट ऑफ स्पर्म और मेनी टाइम्स द स्पर्म इज ऑफ नॉर्मल क्वान्टिटी एंड क्वालिटी बट स्टिल द क्वान्टिटी द लुक ऑफ द स्पर्म इज बैड मीन्स द मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ द स्पर्म इज बैड सो इफ यू आर हैविंग अ डिरेंज मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ द स्पर्म और इफ यू आर हैविंग द क्वालिटी द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ द स्पर्म इज लेस मेनी टाइम द इजैक्यूलेट sample amount is also very less so in that case also we have to see whether this ejaculate is containing how much sperms how what is the quantity of the sperm and what is the look of the sperm so all these cases they fall into male infertility so whenever the count is less than 20 million the fast progressive means the sperms which are moving rapidly they are also less than around 32% the rapid progressive motile and the morphology according to the strict criteria of krugers because the morphology depends on different criteria so it is very important for the doctor to interpret and the lab to tell that which criteria they have used to test the morphology so if it is less than 4% 4% you will think that it is a very small number but believe me right now the male fertility is so much in on decline so patients are not having that much morphology also so if it is less than 4% then the patient falls into the category of male infertility then the patient needs assistant a uh, assisted reproductive technique to make the female partner pregnant and thirdly we have such patients who have no sperms in their semen so these patients they also require procedures like tisa micro tz and we can we are doing stem cell rejuvenation also in them if they have no sperm counts so now coming to like how the male partner will come to know that the male partner partner is infertile so what are the symptoms you will think that will come in your mind believe me there are no such specific symptoms that will show that you are infertile but still there are some signs that maybe you need a thorough examination early than other males so what happens many times the male partner will come and they will say, tell that the quantity of the semen that they are ejaculating is very less or they are having erectile dysfunction means there is no penetration inside there is problem with the erection so no penetration inside fourthly they have problems that the semen that is coming out is very liquid they say there is no thickness in this there is so much liquid these are the common symptoms that the signs that the patient presents in the opd the patient also complains many time that they have low sexual drive that they don't don't want to have sex because if you are not having sex with your female partner then definitely how the patient the couple is going to get pregnant so these are some of the symptoms and signs in that you should come and show your ivf doctor your infertility doctor as soon as possible plus there are some signs and symptoms like there there is a history of mumps in the childhood or there is history of some trauma in your testicular area there is history of recurrent infection some surgery in your testicular area these kind of patients they should see the doctor immediately and they should consult them many patients also have change in their voice pattern change in their hair pattern these are just some symptoms and signs but many normal looking males they are also having infertility they are having azospermia no sperms or they having less amount of sperm so the ultimate test that will tell you whether you are infertile or not is your semen examination and for that you should have minimum of 2 days of abstinence or maximum of 6 days of abstinence you should never give your semen sample less than 2 days or more than 6 days because otherwise your report will come wrong so these are the take home tips for you and you keep watching the videos because you can have more insight about all the male fertility that will be obviously more authenticated and it comes from a doctor's mouth we care about you